Okay, so I might need to change shirts. Um... Ooh, spooky! Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, sorry, I just threw on a jean jacket and just wished me well. So, uh, I want to rejoin uh, Chris Stapleton, and a lot of people love live. They love live things, and I haven't heard Chris Stapleton, I guess, live. Usually it's like the audio recording, but this is the, I think the C... CMAs, there we go. And this is Cold by Chris Stapleton. Uh, it is the 2021, it was posted a year ago. Uh, yeah, math. Uh, and it has 12 million views. So this should be honestly really good to evaluate his voice live. He's already impressed me way, way too much. So just hearing him live and hearing that little, little grit voice that he has, that little that little country flair that he adds uh, to each and every single one of his songs and just the poetry live that he performs. I believe that he's more than an artist. He's like a poet in a sense, but he adds rhythmic tones to it. Uh, I would put him on par with Shakespeare's sonnets, but uh, that's just me gloating. Um, <laughs> but anyways, uh, I have to pause once or twice during this song just so I cannot get copyrighted and all that stuff. So hopefully you guys understand. Anyways. Without further ado, make sure you like, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell. Uh, notific notific <laughs> notification bell. <laughs> and let's get right into this. Mm. Love the stage so far. Ooh, he has a choir behind him. Okay. That is a lovely piano right there. Ooh, okay. Give it to me. Girl, the way you broke my heart, shattered like a rock through a window. Ugh. Mm. I thought we had it so good, I never really saw this coming. Mm. Me neither. Didn't see it coming at all. Now give it to me. All right. I'll let them play. Ooh. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alrighty, so, analyzing this right off the bat. So, number one, I thought the violinists were gonna be a chorus in the back, but I love that they turned into a violinist. Also, his... His voice has such a strenuous thing to it, and it's so different than any other vocal tones that you've ever listened to, ever. In my personal opinion, I'm used to musical theater where it's, uh, didn't have to be so cold. It's that soft, sweet, and didn't have to be so cold. I can't have that strenuous voice that he does, but he adds that strain to it. But it doesn't ruin his vocal cords. So the factor of, if you've ever seen Beetlejuice the musical, it's kind of like that. It's where you can safely add strain to your voice to emphasize the words that you're saying. And that's what he's doing. He's emphasizing each and every single poetic word that he's saying with that strenuous. So he's adding that benefactor to his own singing, which is just adding layer upon layer. Okay, let's continue. I don't know, boo. Anybody ask me about you? Guess I'll tell them I'm without you. Mm. Mm. Oh, and how am I supposed to live? Okay. When I built my life around you. I like his side. Ooh. Cool. He does. 
Okay. I like the side tilt. <laughs> nice. Give it to me. Give it to me. Come on. Woo! Give me the bridge, bud. Look at the drummer as well. Yes! Yes, sir! You better play that guitar. As I said, look at the drummer. He's getting into it. Such amazing artistry there. <laughs> the guy with the hat. Uh. Come on. Okay, sorry. I have to analyze this real quickly. Number one, I love the side tilt of the head to where it shows that he's pushing. It shows that he's pushing. But the reason that he's doing this is to add that little strain onto it. He's cutting off of his vocal cords. That's why he's turning his head from left to right. Because if you were to put it straight on, it's a lot easier to do that majestic voice. But when you add that strain, when you tilt your head, it's very lovely. Also, as I said, look at the drummer. Look at the drummer right there. He's very happy. I don't know if it's just because they're good friends or something. Or he's just jamming out to it. But everybody's enjoying what they're doing on stage and that's the, that's another part of artistry is having people who enjoy doing it and enjoy creating those like musical like numbers and that's exactly what chris stapleton stands for is enjoying the music it's even though this song's about heartbreak and heart like it, you guys know what i'm talking about that you still can add an element of fun and excitement and that's ah uh, that's why oh uh, i just fall in love with chris stapleton more and more What did I just come back to, bud? Hold up. Oh, no. Yes. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I have a jacket on, so I'm good with being cold. Come on, give it to me. Yes, sir. Come on. Oh, he's so gifted. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the subtlety. And... And the fade away. Mm. Lovely. See, beautiful. That man deserves a standing ovation right there. That was wonderful. I think I stopped it at the worst time, but going back and hearing that, that was phenomenal. The stretch, just watch. I want you to analyze this with me. When he hits that note, he adds more strain to it and pushes, but he, he leans his head at a 90 degree angle to show that he's doing the strenuous voice. But that also proves that he knows what he's doing. He's not doing that on per like, well, he's doing that on purpose. He's not doing it by accident. So that's just adding more layers to the artistry. This right here. Ninety degree. Okay. Okay, I was incorrect. It was the previous one that his neck was at a ninety degree angle. He leans back and stretches, so it's a lot swifter coming out. So he's able to hit the note more fluently, but also add that strenuous tint to it. So that's what's so beautiful and also so like oh, he's unbelievably talented. But I love the lyrics. 
if if I was to sit back and just rewatch this, I would primarily listen to the lyrics instead of trying to focus on every single little detail, especially my boy in the back playing the piano, those 80 pianos that he's going ham on over there. But the artistry is so much deeper than just his voice. It's it's the way that he writes his music and how this heartbreak and an agony can be formed into this artistry and be looked upon as this this beautiful creation and that's what brings Chris Stapleton to the level that not a lot of performers bring because you can sit there and be like oh yeah your hair reminds me of freshly cooked spaghetti and your brain reminds me of the marinara sauce like you can sit there and say whatever the mess but adding that layer of storytelling to your music if i can close my eyes and visualize my own like music video along with your music that just brings a whole nother situation and it brings a whole nother level to that artist that's what i'm trying to say anyways i'll stop talking i'll let <laughs> i'll get this out of my hair as you can see from my chest right here <laughs> 12 million one year ago Alrighty, well, thank you guys for joining me. Make sure you like, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell. I'm always here. Uh, post as frequently as I can. Uh, try to add funny things here and there. I watch Chris Stapleton voice play um, Home Free. I've watched other acapella groups. I've watched Austin and also uh, Ellie and Jay Nunn and all of them. So please recommend me any more of these either like certified gifted singers or, or lyrical gifted people so i can uh see if i can analyze them and see if y'all can uh, add your own little flair into it in the comments so i will see y'all later make sure you eat drink and also take your meds i love you i love you more make sure to love yourself but most importantly make sure to love others Alrighty, now um i'm starting to get a little hot instead of cold so uh, i'm gonna go back to being a floating head so um Anyways, uh, 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 spooky, scary skeletons and spooky, 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 sp